Hello. In this demonstration, I will generate a GPS L1 C over A signal on the Roden Schwartz SMW200A vector signal generator and measure the signal conducted on a Ublux EVK M8N GNSS reference receiver. Start from a preset on the signal generator, go to baseband, satellite navigation, GNSS, click on the simulation configuration button. We can select what signals we want to generate. Right now we're doing a GPS L1 C over A signal. On the time tab, you can set that to the current system time on the signal generator. Then go to this receiver tab, click on position configuration, change that to one of the predefined locations or enter the lat long of your current location. We'll use New York as an example. Then on the satellite tab, we can see the satellites that it's currently simulating at the current time and location. For the next step, we need to import a constellation that's published by the US Coast Guard. So let's open up our web browser. We'll go to this website, linked in the description, and we'll download the current SEM almanac in the AL3 format. Let's go ahead and rename that file to the current date. Save. Now let's upload that almanac file to the signal generator. I'll use RS Commander but you could use FTP or a flash drive or other ways to get that file onto the generator. We'll upload that file. Now that it's uploaded to the generator, we can import that constellation. We'll select that file, click import, close that window, turn on GNSS signal generation, and let's take a look at the output. We'll turn on RF. And after a few seconds, the GNSS receiver starts to decode a couple of satellites that it's receiving. Give it a few more seconds and it will get a position fix. Now let's verify which satellites the GNSS receiver has reported that it sees against what we're simulating. So we have GPS satellite 10, 12, 18, 10, 12, 18 here. So those all line up as expected. Then we could do, perform a cold boot on the GNSS receiver. This will force it to reload that almanac that it's downloading from the telemetry. And after about 30 seconds, we have a GPS fix again. Thanks for joining me on this demonstration for GPS signal generation on the Roden Shorts SMW200A vector signal generator. Have a great one. Bye.